occupational therapy have managed to get us this new comfy chair which is really good and useful because it means I can sit in the lounge with all my family and also it means I can get out of my chair and be in a different position and relax. Um, I really love meeting people. I find it an absolute privilege um, to be in this job, to meet um, children and young people, um, really meet some lovely people, lovely families. Um, and it's not just about helping them, it's learning about people and, and sort of where they're at. I think that for families, having a disabled child can be quite daunting. Um, especially in the early days when the diagnosis is new and the difference that an occupational therapist can make for that family is to look at ways in which they can engage in family life whether that's through the provision of equipment or whether it's through adaptation. What we want to be able to do is to enable that young person to get to adulthood, meeting their full potential. My colleagues I find very supportive, we're quite a small team and I find that really helpful because everybody has a voice, um, everybody's valued, um, everybody's really conscientious um, and I know that we're there for each other. Having a good team and support around you I think is essential and we certainly have that. I've worked for the council now for 30 years, I'm into my 31st year of, of working for the council. It is a lovely, Dorset itself is a wonderful place to work. Um, so I really do enjoy the adaptation work because we work very closely with other agencies. So I think every day and every situation is different. Um, and that keeps my interest as well and just, you know, from my knowledge base um, and using those experiences then to take forward, you know, for other families. The joy that you can see with children when they can do something, when, you know, whether they've just learnt that or whether it's because of equipment provision. I definitely feel like they made a difference.